Hi, I'm Jill Eikenberry, and I'm here to welcome you to the Out of Work Actors Cooking Show. Actors, as you know, are experts at being out of work. We take great pride in it. And one of the things we like to do best when we're not working is cooking. Cooking is great. Cooking makes you almost feel like you're working. Tonight, we have as our chef, Michael Tucker, my husband, who happens to be one of the best cooks going. And he comes by it honestly. I mean, he has been chronically unemployed for almost 30 years. Man, can he cook. Tonight we're going to make uh, roasted vegetables. That will be broccoli and portobello mushrooms and some cherry tomatoes roasted hot in the oven. And a pasta called spaghetti alla bagna cauda. Bagna cauda means hot bath in Italian. And uh, the sauce is oil, butter, sliced garlic, and anchovies. That's it. It comes from um, a kind of cooking called cucina povera in Italian, and that means poor people's cooking. And it's one of the most delicious things you'll ever taste. Uh, I've already heated the oven to 400, and we've got the water boiling for the pasta, and we'll be right back to show you some tricks about making the portobello mushrooms. You can't wash mushrooms. Some people just wipe them with a damp cloth, but with portobellos and several other types of mushrooms, it's, it's easy to peel them. So um, just take all the worry about washing them away by peeling them like this. It's so easy with portobellos. Very satisfying. Chop the portobellos into sort of bite-sized chunks. And add them to our bowl of broccoli, cherry tomatoes, and portobello. Put some olive oil on, and we add some salt, pepper, that everything is nicely coated with olive oil. Put them in the platter that's going to go into the oven. And there you have it. So, everything times to the vegetables. Here's the vegetables. They're going to go in the oven, pour it into the oven for 12 minutes. 13 minutes, actually. 13 minutes, because my wife likes her broccoli crisp. The next thing is the pasta. So I have a pound of pasta here, I'm going to use about half of it. And then you have more than that. And that'll be plenty of pasta for the two of us and some left over. But first, we salt the water. And you wait until you're ready to put the pasta into salt and water. And you use what they call in Italy una mancha, which means a handful, about that much salt. And it seems like a lot, but if you remember, most of this water will go down the drain. And just a little bit of salt will get into each piece of pasta, and that's what you need. Otherwise, the pasta is tasteless. You will stir the pasta with a fork, and just make sure that it's got plenty of room in the water to move around and not clump up. And now the sauce. Set the pan on low. And we're going to put in maybe three tablespoons of olive oil and a little knuckle of butter. And then we're going to cut up, I've done some, but just slice up some garlic. And it goes kind of like this. garlic, anchovy, oil, and butter. What happens with the anchovies is that as the garlic turns golden, the anchovies melt to the point where you don't see them anymore. But they are a major taste in this sauce. And just watch them as they melt. Well, you know, the, the, the package says for al dente 10 to 12 minutes. I'm going to pull it out in about 7 or 8 minutes and I'm going to finish it in this pan. And that's kind of the secret. So we're going to ladle into this nice salty pasta water. And 
now, I'm going to put my back off and I'm going to the pasta. Now you see, it's already bending, and that's good. Because what we're looking for is cooked, but it's not cooked in the middle yet. And that's going to happen when it goes to the pan. Time is everything, just like in the theater. <laughs> I first learned to make pasta when I was a, a student in college at Carnegie Tech in Pittsburgh. And a friend, well actually, a guy who was married, whose brother was married to my cousin. His name is Philip Glass, <laughs> who is Philip Glass. But he wasn't Philip Glass quite then. And, and we got together, because he was there writing music, and um, he taught me how to make spaghetti. And he, he said, when, when it's ready, you, you, you know it's ready when you throw it against the wall and it sticks. <laughs> well, since then I've learned better ways. <laughs> but he's a wonderful composer. <laughs> Spaghetti, just fair. And I'm going to taste another piece. Yeah, okay. Still hard in the middle, but it's ready to go in the pan. Ready. I'm going to drain it right now because I need this water. When we use a fork, in Italy they talk about the sound, the sound of the fork stirring things up. And you want to kind of have a, what is called a, a battere battere, which means bang bang. And we add more water and we're going to turn this up. And we're going to make this sauce look like there's cream in it, but there's no cream in it. And pepper. So the secret here is the garlic and the anchovy and the butter and the oil is all going into the pasta. It's all being sucked up into the pasta. I'm going to add a little Parmesan cheese. Just to finish this. Came with the vegetables. Came, it just came out of the oven. Looking gorgeous. Now the secret is, if you want us to keep cooking like this, is to never hire us again as actors. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, sort of beautiful. Bravissimo.